Hey everyone, I'm Zach Perry. Today, we're kicking off a new experiment on the channel. So we're gonna simulate a ton of IP camera feeds and throw them straight into Frigate running on my HL15 2.0 and we're gonna find out how many concurrent streams it can handle. So like I've been doing for the last few weeks, this video, it's gonna be laying the groundwork, but before we flood our HL15 with video, let's talk hardware, software, and how kind of this whole thing's gonna to go together. If you haven't used it before, Frigate, it's an open source NVR network video recorder built for real-time object detection. It integrates with Home Assistant, supports MQTT, and RTSP. It's built using to detect people, vehicles, custom objects, uses hardware accelerators like a Coral TPU or your GPU. What makes it stand out is that it doesn't just record everything. It uses motion and object detection to capture different events, saving storage and letting you search or automate around real world, real world things, dual rear wheel drive. <laughs> Our test branch looks like this. Our HL15 2.0 has an Epic 7452, eight sticks of 16 gig RAM, for 128 gigs in NVIDIA RTX 4060 low profile. The motherboard is an ASRock ROM ED8-2T, two 10 gig network ports. We're gonna be using ZFS on Ubuntu 22, 10 18 terabyte Seagate Exos, all connected on an LSI 9600 and a Corsair 1000 watt power supply. So I've covered Frigate a few times in this channel before, kind of a high level overview, but I wanna actually show some experiments we're running Frigate inside Docker on the system, and later in the series, we're going to test both CPU only and GPU accelerated decoding. To simulate the camera feeds, I've gathered 15 different videos, so ranging from busy sidewalks, traffic, farmsteads, videos with inclement weather, to highlight object detection features, and I downscaled some of them so everything is 1080p, 30fps. I've gathered these videos from pexels.com, uh, from various users who was marked them as free to use, but I've gone ahead and added their links to the description of the video down below. To do the downscaling, I'm using a tool called FFmpeg. This will also be used to simulate the streams in our next videos. And I've offloaded those videos to a client I'll be calling the Simulatinator, where we'll be looping the video files and sending them as RTSP streams over the network. So this feeder box, it has two 2.5 network interfaces and our Frigate server, as mentioned, has two 10 gig interfaces. And of course, in a real world setup, you're gonna have all your cameras running through a switch, probably on their own VLAN, but here we're trying to isolate and max out the stream input side without external variables. So we're going to remove the potential bottleneck of additional hardware for the time being and possibly revisit in the future with some real cameras and a PoE switch. The goal of this video, well, these videos I should say, is we're gonna find out how many concurrent streams Frigate can realistically handle on this hardware, how does CPU versus GPU decoding impact system stream capacity, how does storage I.O. behave when Frigate is archiving multiple high-risk streams simultaneously, and observe what gets bottlenecks first, storage I.O., network, GPU, CPU, uh, and what we can do when that happens. So today is a bit of a shorter video, so join me in the next one where we'll start applying everything we talked about. I'll run through everything in more depth, like our pool configuration and settings, what tools we'll be using, and add more and more video streams concurrently going to our HL15. And if you want to see everything that we have on offer, hop on over to store.45homelab.com. Below, you'll find a link to the videos I'll be using and Frigate, along with the links to all of our socials. Once again, I'm Zach Perry. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you all in the next video.